beginning. Nothing, brethren. Uh, students that are here, nothing. No matter what science has come to be, nothing. God has been from where? From the beginning. And that's why the Bible started from Genesis 1, verse 1. In the beginning, there is God. So God is the beginning of all things. Amen? Amen. God is the end of all things. He is one that does not have an end. But to everything that has an end, God is where? God is there. And that is why we call him our Alpha and Omega. Please, somebody check in my time. Please, signal me. What time? I should finish 10.30. What time now? 10.29. They will call me. 10.40. Yes. 10.40. Thank you. So, God was before everything. So, nothing. So, we want to look at um, some things that were in and then uh, that God made to be. Number one of such things was that the Bible says, in, it says, and darkness was upon the face of the heart. Are we together? Yes. Darkness, I cannot teach darkness to Canadians because everywhere you have light. But from where we are coming from, I think this lesson is not going to be for me. When you are in your room, you are enjoying, you are reading, and there is darkness. Sometimes you don't even know where to put your step. Am I right? Yes. And that's why my mother of a better memory teach me that when there is light, keep the pathway clean. Keep what? The part to a clean. So when there is no light, you can know where to go. And you will not hit your leg on any object. So darkness was there. And what did God create? Light. Praise the Lord. So instead of darkness, God did what? God give us light. Hallelujah. And I will not finish this lesson without going running quickly, 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 quickly to salvation. Are you with me? The life of human being was void, was meaningless. A life without Jesus is a life in darkness. Are you, are you there with me? And that's why Jesus came. And then in one of the servants, I am. What did he say? I am the light. In one of the servants, I am. I am what? I am light. So that's why Jesus did not come to start fighting the political powers. King Herod thought that somebody has come to topple his power. No, 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 no. Jesus Christ was not for that. <laughs> Hallelujah. His kingship was not of this world. He has come to give us light in a world of darkness. So God himself is the one that created us, created light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And there was what? And God created heaven and the earth. If you go for that in chapter 6 or about 6 to 8, God created the heavens and the earth. Meaning that God separated earth, heaven. He separated earth and water. Are we together? Let's think about it. If we, I don't know about Canada. I sh I should. If you if if you put uh, the geologist, let them put a pipe down the earth. What would they bring out? Water. 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 Amen. Amen. When we look up and there is and there is rain, of course comes out. Water. 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 So where are we living? And water. In the middle of water. <laughs> Above us is what? Water. Is water. Beneath us is what? Water. water. So. God in his infinite power separated land and sea so for us to what? For us to have a place to stay. Can't you see how organized our God is? Can we see the wondrous provision God is making? So from Christ standing memorial before you were born, God has made provision for us to inhabit the earth. For a comfortable place for us to live. And that is telling me something now. That in any uh, awkward situation I am, 
that God is going to make a place comfortable for me. Yeah. What do you think? What about you? Yes. Praise the Lord. So it applies to everyone. Praise the Lord. He created sea and land. He created plants. 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 What are we eating today? Some of us we eat plants. We eat vegetables. We eat apples. Those are one of the things that God created. And it is this plant. Biologists would tell us it is the existence of this plant that aids our the oxygen we breathe. Am I correct? Yes. Scientists, please correct me. Yes. I read the yes. I'm correct. Yes. Thank you. So we saw this plant generating. Is it a boy? What do you want to generate now? Oxygen. Eh? Oxygen. 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 Oxygen.
Yeah. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Are we cold? Yeah. Church, we are going to rise on our feet. We are going to pray. Happy New Year, everybody. Are we enjoying the New Year already? Are we? Yeah. Are we? We are not even sure. Some people are not sure. We are enjoying the New Year. It's a happy year. Whether we like it or not, God will bless us. Amen. In this year, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are here again. Let's sing. We are here again. Father, we are here again. Holy Ghost, come and take control. Amen. We are here again. We are here again. Father, we are here again. Holy Ghost, come and take control. So, church, I want to encourage us this morning that the only thing I need from you in the next 10 minutes that we are going to pray, the only thing I need from you is your faith. Praise God. Hallelujah. The only thing I need from you is your faith. You know, the Bible says that if we have faith like a mustard seed, if we tell a mountain to move, it will move. And this morning we are going to tell mountains to move. Amen. And it will move in Jesus' name. Amen. So in this session, we are praying for great grace for greater exploits in 2022. We need the grace to move on in this year. I don't know what 2021 was to you. But 2022 will be great. Amen. 2022 will be full of God's greatness, favor, and blessings, mercy, and everything in between. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And quickly, I want to read to us Isaiah 45. And this is our charge scripture for this prayer. Isaiah 45 from verses 1 to 3. It says, Thus say the Lord to his anointed to Cyrus, whose right hand I am holding to subdue nations before him. To subdue nations before him. Amen. And I will lose the loins of kings to open before him Amen. two lived gates, and the gates shall not be shut. Amen. Some people are not saying amen. These are the promises of God for us for this year. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I, the Lord which called thee by thy name, I'm the God of Israel. Hallelujah. God is God, my brothers and sisters. And it's not going to change because of any of us. The Bible has made it clear that it does not change. Our God does not sleep nor slumber. Oh, those of us who are Bible students, you know that this, this king is, is not a usual king in Israel. He was selected by God. Grace found him out for this assignment. He was a pagan. He qualified as a Gentile, but God did great and mighty things through him, and he's going to do it through us. Amen. So we are going to stand upon the word of God this morning, and we are going to be asking for the grace to navigate this year, 2022. Like I said, I don't know what 2021 was, but 2022 for me is going to be a great year. Amen. And for you, it will be a great year. For me, believe it will be a great year. Amen. I want us to begin to pray that God help me in this year 2022. Help me to find favor in your side. Help me to help, let your blessings locate me. Let mercies work for me. Let the grace of God find us wherever we are. Let us find our children. Let's begin to pray. Now, whatever 2021 was, we want to rebuke some things that happened to us in 2021. And we want to claim great, greater exploits for our 2022 in the mighty name of Jesus. That God will go ahead of us in this year. He said in that scripture, I will go before thee. 
Father, go before me in year 2022 and make every crooked path straight for me in the name of Jesus. Make every crooked path straight for me. All those things that we are aspiring or that we aspired in year 2021, maybe some of them were fulfilled, maybe some of them were not fulfilled, maybe it looked as if God did not even answer those prayers. I want you to bring them to remembrance. We read, we saw in our Sunday school this morning, our God is God of new beginnings. He's God of new beginning. He's ready to start afresh with us. He's ready to give us a new start. He said, I will do a new thing. And now it shall spring forth. He said, shall you not know it? I will make a way in the wilderness. And rivers will spring forth in your desert. That is God speaking to our situation this morning. Lord, do a new thing. You are a God of new beginning. It's a new year. It's a new month. It's a new week. Do a new thing in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Do a new thing in my life. Father, do a new thing in my life. Do a new thing. Go before me. Give me clear direction for exploit. Give me the grace to navigate year 2022. Give me the grace to navigate year 2022. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give me the grace. I will go before thee. Father, go before my children. Go before me in my career. Go before me in my spiritual life. Go before me in my health. Go before me in every area of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Look at what he says. He says, I will break in pieces. Hey, he will shatter the gates of our enemy. That is what the Lord is saying. And he did it in this time, in this Bible time. He did it. In fact, the Bible, when I was studying this scripture, the, I saw that the Bible records it that 200 years before this event, God had spoken it. Do you even know what God is saying about you? That has not yet come to pass, just because you are not even asking. Do you want to remind God this morning, the promises of God concerning you? What about the promises he made to Father Abraham and you are the generation? Has it been fulfilled? Can you begin to pray? Lord, he said, I will break in pieces the gates of bronze. Every gate of bronze. Every gate of the enemy that is not letting me to possess my possession this morning. Father, break them asunder. Break them asunder in the name of Jesus. Break them asunder. I will make every crooked place straight. I will cut the bars of iron. Father, cut the bars of iron concerning me in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Verse 3, he says, I will give thee treasures of darkness. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And hidden riches of secret places. See, in this, if you read down in this Isaiah 45, you will see that God actually brought this to come to pass. The, the, uh, the children, uh, the, the, uh, this one, this king was able to get 34,000 pounds, pieces of gold from this assignments 34,000 pounds worth of gold and many other treasures God can do it Amen. we are the one setting limitation for ourselves we want to pray Lord give me the hidden treasure the Bible says the secret of God is with them that fear him he will show you the secrets we will not struggle too much if God shows us the secret to make wealth if he shows us the secret to navigate this life, we will not struggle. If we just look as if we know how to do things, let us pray. Father, give me the hidden treasures. Give me the hidden treasures in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me the hidden treasures of darkness. The hidden, the hidden secret of the hidden treasures in secret places. Father, reveal them to me. Give me the grace to identify where I should put my effort in the name of Jesus. Give me the grace to understand in this year so that I will not walk in vain. Give me the grace, oh Lord. Give me the grace to explore this year in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Quickly, I want to read Deuteronomy 30 verse 9. This is another promise. And the Lord thy God will make thee plenteous in this year 2022. He will make thee plenteous in the work of thy hand, in the fruit of thy body, in the fruit of thy cattle, in the fruit of thy land, for good. Ha! This is divine, divine riches that the Lord is releasing to us. I want us to ask, Father, the grace, the grace to navigate divine riches, the grace to know where to, where, where, where to go, the grace to know what job to
to apply for. The grace to know where the business, the business ideas I need to excel. Oh, yes, the grace, the grace, the grace. Father, release it. Release it. But it, the Bible says His grace is sufficient for us. We only need to ask. Father, release unto me the grace, O oh God, for divine riches. The grace, it is not a sin to be rich. It is not a sin. It is a sin if you put it before your God. It is not a sin to be rich. It is just our choice. Father, release unto me the grace for divine riches in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace to be plenteous in, uh, in the work of my hand and in my body and in everything I lay my hands upon. Father, release the grace unto me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The second part of that scripture. And he says, for the Lord will again rejoice over thee. Amen. Why is the Lord rejoicing over you? It's because your life is a testimony. Amen. And God said to Abraham that Abraham, he knows him. He's his friend. If, we are, if God knows us by the works of our, our hand that we are successful in everything and we are still serving God with our heart, God will be proud of us. We want to pray, Heavenly Father, that, the, the, that God should put us in the situation where we will be a delight. We will be a delight some land in this year, 2022. We will balance it, we will serve God, and we will make we will make everything possible for our life. Shall we begin to pray? Father, make the year 2022 a testimony indeed. A testimony of your faithfulness. That it will be said that you are rejoicing over me for good. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. And our Heavenly Father, this morning, we come unto you as a church. Father, we ask, O oh God, that all that is unclear in this year, 2022, make it clear to Amen. us. Make all the crooked paths straight for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let it be that anything we lay our hands upon according to your will will prosper. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And we come against every power and principalities that we say, let us see how they, they will move forward. Let us see how they will achieve this. Father, we pray, O oh God, their, their counsel will not prosper Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we pray in this year 2022, before we pray, Lord, you will answer. Amen. Before we pray, you will answer. Amen. While we are yet speaking, you will hear us Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Over the cries of our hearts, oh God, we ascend to the throne of heaven Amen. and we receive mercy. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We pray Maple Leaf Church will continue to move forward. Amen. From the north, from the south, from the east. Father, bring people. Amen. Bring people to serve you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you because you have heard. You, For in Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's begin to bring that to the worship. Let's begin to worship the mighty name of the Lord. Let's begin to appreciate him because he's a good man. The Almighty Father.
I really want you to get yourself prepared because when the man of God will be coming this morning to declare the word, 
you will know that God is in business with you. Hallelujah. Because he has never failed in his commitment, I will not fail this time in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, I want to welcome everyone of us. I see beautiful faces, smiling faces. You are welcome to the presence of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. This is the Maple Leaf Foursquare Gospel Church where we preach the unfold gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ is our Savior, Jesus Christ is our healer, the baptizer with the Holy Spirit, and our son coming King. We are so excited to see uh, the friends that are coming to our midst for the first time. This is an assembly of family, assembly of, our, of faith, assembly of fruitfulness, and assembly of fun. We come together, we enjoy the presence of the Lord, and uh, we do believe as you are coming with us, you're going to have the uh, same blessing that Lord has a blessing all with. Say, come back, we say, come down with us, the Lord will do you good because He has certain good concerning us. So, for that reason, if you are coming here for the first time, we want to acknowledge and extend our practice. Pastor's greeting to you for the Amen. Praise the Lord. That's for favor, divine favor. The Bible people arrived from Nigeria just yesterday. You are welcome in Jesus' wow. name. Amen. Praise the Lord. And uh, let's clap for her. Let's clap for this man. You see, Daddy Isaac, you didn't pray for this man when you pray for the other man. Amen. You are prayed for in Jesus' name. You are welcome. We want to say we really love you. We don't want to lose you. Please, we don't want you to go because this is where God wants you to be this time, this year. And I pray you will not lose your reward in Jesus' name. Amen. The days of our meeting remain the same. Yes, very quick one. This is the first service here. Let's put our hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is taking us higher and higher. Yes, now we have our own place. We can have all the meetings. Maybe pastor is coming to expound on this. Maybe Wednesdays now we'll be having our Bible study and prayer meeting here. I don't want to be too forward. It's going to clarify that. But as it is, just like we're having our month with the Sunday service now, we have our Sunday service every Sunday starting by 8 at 10 a.m. Then there's always a pre-meeting prayer for the leaders. We want to encourage all the leaders. I know the, the weather has been so sweet to our bodies. I really want us to be part of this meeting, part of the blessing. Amen. Amen. And on Wednesday, we have our Bible studies and uh, prayer meeting. It promised to be a wonderful time. For those of us that were regular in the last meet, in the uh, last year, uh, weekly meetings, you want to testify that it's been a wonderful time. And uh, our God is doing greater things this time around want to enjoy you those of us those of you that have been joining us online please keep coming because god's have you know different package for this year and uh, you're not going to be left out in jesus name Amen. praise ye the lord Hallelujah. yeah in case we have any further announcement our pastor is going to bring that to us we want to go into the choir ministrations now praise ye the lord
in the name of Jesus. As many as are listening, wherever they are, Lord, as this word will come out, let it make a meaning to their life. Give full expression unto their soul. Thank you, precious God. Father, we bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. You may be seated. I want to give one or two people opportunity to share testimonies. Yes, we know that we had testimonies this past week. You want to share testimony, just one or two, please come forward. Okay. I'm a please come. Hello, hello. Thank you. 
Because um, for safe journey, 31st, it was midnight. I was even telling my mom that, ah, crossover. Is it crossover how to use to come to this place? My mom was like, just go. God is with you. Like your name says, you are divine favor. You will be divinely favored. I said, amen. No, people were trying to discourage me. They're like, immigration, this, immigration, that. They won't accept. They won't. I was like, okay. My mom was just telling me, just keep praying. Keep putting yourself in God. And I told God, God, as I'm stepping into Canada, once I get there, when I get to the immigration, let my name speak for me. And I got there, and it was just so smooth. I was like, God, is this God? Even the flight was so smooth. I was like, wow. I was just, I just want to give God all the glory. I want to appreciate Praise him. God is faithful. Praise the Lord. I want you to sing one song. Don't worry, we will learn it. I want to be speaking in Europe. I want to speak speaking every language here. Yeah. But this one learn it. La son nisa tani gogo la ye. La son nisa tani gogo la ye. Ah, you don't know this song. Be on your feet. La son nisa tani gogo la ye. La son nisa tani gogo la ye. I want you to know that the enemy will always try. They will always gather. But the Bible says because their gathering is not of him, what will he do? He will scatter them. So when they come like a rush of wind, what will he do? He will raise a higher standard to do what? To subdue them. I want you to thank God for the life of Mama. Thank God for the life of our young world. Thank God for many of those testimonies that are in our hearts. That we are just saying, God, just accept my position. Father, we bless you. Father, we glorify you. Thank you for our mama. Thank you for the fullness of your testimonies in our life. I want to thank you for your daughter, whom you have brought even to our midst. And this morning, she is already a blessing to us. Father, we give you glory. And I ask as they go back, Lord, the testimony shall remain permanent, Lord. Amen. There will be no reverse concerning my man's health, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious God. Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. God bless you. Don't worry. Please be on your feet with your Bible, Deuteronomy chapter 5. Deuteronomy chapter 5. Please, please, let's be concentrating. Deuteronomy chapter 5. Verse 33, we're going to read. We are going to read Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 3. 33. Are we there? Are we there? Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 33. And I want you to read very well. Walk in all the way that the Lord your God has commanded you, so that you may live and prosper and prolong your days in the land that you will possess. Colossians chapter 1, verses 10 and 11, and I read as well. Colossians chapter 1, verses 10 and 11. Please join me. And we pray this in order that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and that you may please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God and being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might so that you may have great endurance and patience and joyful, and joyful, and joyfully giving thanks to the Father. Heavenly Father, again, we trust you. That you will go ahead with us this year. That you will go ahead with us on the journey that we have been back upon. Amen. And your name shall be glorified. Amen. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This year, by the grace of God, 
Our theme for this year will be walking with God. Divine walk with God. And that's the teachings that we will take for the next 12, 13 months by the grace of God. So what I'm doing today is just to share with us the mind of God. And I will just begin with the introduction because our time is past spent really. But I want you to know that this year there is nothing that can take you through except we walk with God. By the grace of God, in the next few weeks, the meaning, the understanding, the requirement, the essence of walking with God, we will fully appreciate it in the name of Jesus. Amen. There are many people you can walk with. People work with criminals, and when they get old of the criminal, they look and say, it gets them in. People have made calls to somebody who the law is looking for. And all they did was to say, oh, you just spoke with this person. We can check the call log that you are together with him. And when we are talking about walking with God, what are we talking about? It's about having a deep fellowship with God. It's about having a deep walk with God. Today, if I take somebody and I can ask two young ones to come, so you understand walking with God what it will entail. You understand walking with God what it entails. Let two young ones come. Two young ones, just come. Let me take the next level. Shabak, Shabak. Let me take the next level. Debbie and Favor, come. Debbie and Favor, come. Please come. Don't worry. You can come and stay with me, Shabak, really, if you want. See. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You're talking to yourself. If you pretend that you're talking to yourself, you're not making noise. Can you try to do a little bit of talking? Not, don't speak loudly. You're just talking. Self talk. Talk. Did you hear yourself? You're hearing yourself. The same level. So what did you what did she say? No speak. You know they are communicating. And we are hearing it. How will it look like? This one is going this way. And you are talking the same. No, just let's see it going. Is that somebody who will hear what they are speaking about? No. No. As they move further and further, what happens? They don't hear anything. Nobody is hearing them. So if God was with somebody and they are walking like this, and God is just, and they are talking. Is it going to be difficult for this person to hear? No. So when we are talking about working with God, we're actually asking that the way husband and wife will hold themselves, the way couples, the way sisters, brothers will hold themselves, they are doing like this. They can understand, Ali. But if somebody is going this long route, and another one is going like this, can they hear? And when you are comfortable, you are close to him, he's hearing what you are talking about. That's why. Now, the second one, look, please go to your seats. The second one is that somebody is in the dark, complete darkness. Are you listening? Somebody decides to stay where there is darkness. Who will see each other? No, no I'm asking you. There is somebody in the dark. There is somebody in the light. Who will see somebody? 
The duck will see the one in the dark. The one in the dark. You will see the one in the light. Yes. So the one in the light, what will you see the person in the dark? No. So when you walk in sin, God is seeing you. Have it? Yes. He's seeing you. There is nowhere you want to hide. You decide to do it in the room where there is nobody. You decide to do it where your wife is not there. You decide to do it where your husband is not there. Is God not seeing you? What do you know where God is? You don't you don't see it. And you are doing all of those things, but God is seeing you. So your sins, your iniquities represent you walking in the dark. So you want to walk with God this year. It is not possible that you are not going to be in the same shade of openness, transparency that God himself is. Is that clear? Yes. Am I making some senses? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to beg of you. In working with God this year, we are talking of an opportunity for you to have a, a good discussion. A father and son discussion. A daughter and son discussion that will come and say, Daddy, this is what I want. But if you are not at peace with God, are you going to be able to get something from God? God, like a father that I am, and my children know this. Some of us who are parents, we know it. You just gave your son, your daughter, instruction to do something, and he or she would not do it. How easy will it come when she he or she come to you the next few times to ask for something? How is it? Bryce it. will not be comfortable. Are you just not going to be comfortable with you? I will look at it with, you know, I, they won't even call. So, instructions about what to do, how to enjoy God, is what we are going to be looking at. Praise the Lord. And let me tell you, the plan that God has from Eden, from the Garden of Eden, is that of fellowship. Bible says he always comes to them in the Navy, fellowship with them. When somebody comes visiting you regularly, is that going to be a trouble? But men of their own, they took a decision and said, look, we don't need more of this. And what inspired men? Right. What inspired men? Greece. What inspired men? Covetousness. They saw this world. This is sweet. It looks beautiful. What inspired men? Disobedience. Because God already told them. But they were ready to listen to somebody. Children of God. You cannot walk with God when you have two masters serving. You cannot walk with God if you will listen to somebody else. God is a jealous God. So, two cannot work together except they agree. Are you willing to hold on to God to take you through 2022? Are you willing to trust Him with 2022? Prepare to work with Him. Working with Him may be may involve some challenges only. But it sure will take you through the challenge. Mm -hmm. The beauty of working with Him is that yes, even where there is storm, what will he do? Because he's the prince of peace. He will give direction to the storm to do what? What did he just say? Two words. Be still. Good. He says what? Be still. Beloved, in this year, who are you working with? Some people went with Jonah in a trip to Nineveh. They went with him in that boat. They lost precious resources. I can imagine people will have boxes of gold, of diamonds, of precious items. And they saw the tide. And they presumed that, oh, by the time we throw this thing away, Everything will be still. It didn't happen. No. no. They lost precious resources. Who are you working with? God. God. 
Some people work with ungodly people and they brought disaster to themselves. I want to beg you this year. Work with him. And how do you work in the place on a wedding day? The husband and the bride. The focus of everybody's attention is where? You want to go to a wedding and you are looking at somebody again? It's the couple that is the synergy of all eyes. Isn't that what it is? Yeah. Make God the focus of everything you are doing, and he will address all your other challenges. You've got to be ready this year. Not just asking him to come in for those big investment decisions. Not what you consider to be very tall, but in those simple, simple things. A gold bladder, as small as it is, you can imagine how you can destroy eh, cows, just drop it. What are they? Those simple, simple things that you, for example, think it doesn't matter. God is ready. What type of communication do you want to employ speaking to God? Do you want to be very rude? Do you want to be very discourteous? Do you want to enter his cause with praise and honor and worshiping? Or you just want to say that I need 50 naira there? How will you treat that fellow? These are the elements of what God wants when you want to work with him. You've got to put him at the center of your activities. Every hour, every moment, God, God, God. I wish some wives. I wish some husband will treasure their partner. I mean, we treasure God the way they treasure their partner. I wish. I wish some parents will treasure God the way they treasure their children. I wish. I wish men, women will treasure God the way they treasure their work. God is a jealous God. He is a jealous God. I wish we will honor him and fear him. He will appreciate it. The moment we are not able to overcome these personal issues, then we don't want to work with God. I wish we'd be ready to do only his will. I wish we will be able to say wherever he says, I will go. I wish. So what do we need to do? Like I said, this is just an introduction. One of it is about our daily Christian life. Shall we continue in sin and expect grace to abound? Iniquities cannot allow you to walk with him. In Romans chapter 12, verse 2, the Bible says, Do not be conformed to this world. I mean, there is no way you are conformed to the world and you understand their language. You no, know, there is a language the world speaks and it looks so sweet and you are like the odd person out. You cannot work with God if you want to be part of those majority. Don't conform your lifestyle. Don't conform your way of life with what the world wants. Number three, we need constant fellowship. Bible says in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25, it says, neglect not the assembly of one another as is the habit of some. Let intelligence not come and say, well, we can listen to ministrations anywhere. The fellowship of one another, that's what the Bible says. When you are watching all, and all that you have is just whenever. Because of the situation in the world today, some people will 
have reason to only be on the net, which is fine. But where the people have the opportunity of coming together, I would say we should not neglect the assembly. In Psalm 119, verse 105, say, Thy word, have I, your word is a lamp on my feet. I mean, you want to walk with God, read these words. Because that word will guide you. Somebody is in the place, somebody is in the ship. There is something that gives direction. You cannot walk with somebody you don't know the route. I sent route direction to somebody this morning. That person cannot be going to Selkirk. He cannot be going to Brandon. Because you already know. So when you follow this book of the law, you will have a good direction to where Jesus Christ is. You have a direction to where God is. You've got to be ready to trust him all the time. All the time. And it shouldn't be a struggle to serve him. It shouldn't be a struggle to believe him. Today, it becomes a struggling issue for many to believe him. You must follow his direction. Your service, your relationship must be one that is bearing fruit, beloved. There was a fig tree that refused to bear the fruit. What did the Bible say God did to it? Cause that fig tree. You are not going to be that fig tree. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Because fig tree is supposed to bear fruit. You cannot walk with him if you will not bear fruit. God has given you so much. Giving you energy, life, sometimes talent. Sometimes money. And you think that no, it is my wisdom that is helping me this far. No. Did you know me say it is him that gives you what? Power. To do what? To make words. It cannot be your strength. It cannot be your strength. I want to speak to conclude this section. Beloved. One of the most important things to do is that you must be ready to obey him. You want to work with him. You want to work with him in obedience. Jesus Christ, in Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 to 8, you know, the Bible says, he gave into obedience to death. I don't know whether you've read it before. How? Because he knew this was going to be the, my end. But he was still ready to go. Let me read it. Philippians chapter 2. <laughs> eh? Your at I read Philippians chapter 2 from verses 5 to 8. He said your attitude should be the same as that of Jesus Christ. Who being in very nature God did not consider equality with God as something to be grasped, but made himself nothing. He took the very nature of a servant and being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man. I would say he humbled himself and became what? Obedient to what? To death. Even death on the cross. Even what? Death on the cross. Are you ready for that? Next week, God willing, we want to be speaking on walking with God in obedience. Walking with God in obedience. Subsequent Sunday, we'll be looking at examples of men and women who Though it wasn't comfortable for them. It didn't look so easy for them. They decided to say, well, whatever you say, whatever he says, I will do what? I will do. Even in the Canaan and Guy of Gali, when everything thing seems to have vanished, my man told them, say to me, whatever he says, to me, go and do me, I don't know anything. So we will be looking at this 
And I'm praying God of heaven, it will expatiate this even as you sleep, in your dreams, everywhere in the name of Jesus. Amen. So then we've started what? What's the topic? Walking with God. Divine walk with God. Children, what's the topic today? Divine walk with God. And we're asking us that the only avenue for us to enjoy 2022 one sure avenue is for us to let God, God be part of you. You cannot do it alone. But let me tell you, God will not work with somebody who is a sinner. And so the very beginning is to give your life to Jesus Christ. You are in the house. You come to church, yes. You serve in the altar, yes. Can Jesus really identify you? I want you to bow down your head. If Jesus Christ cannot recognize you, you are wasting your time, beloved. But God is faithful. Are you going to pray and say, God, help me? Are you going to ask him to help you? Please help me. I want to walk with you. Somebody in a white robe is not ready to hold on to somebody who has oil poured on him. So you need to be as clean as God will be willing to embrace you. All those deadness on you, you need to clean them. You need to kill, clean them. I ask you to bow down. I don't know what you have passed through. The devil is always willing to take advantage of any part of you. Can you go to God? Say, God, help me. Help me this year. Help me, Lord. And everything that wants to take me away from you, Jehovah, I am weak, but you are strong. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Thank you, precious God. So, Father, I lift these words up unto you. As many as are willing to trace their step back to you. As many as are in their heart saying, God, have your way in my life. Please look down from heaven Amen. and show them mercy. That Lord, your death on the cross will not be in vain for their sin. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And every step on their way this year. Jehovah, please hold our hand. Lord. Thank you, precious God. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I want to invite the pastors and the advisory committee for the communion service. By the grace of God, every first Sunday of the year, of the month, we have this communion service. And I know that we will sing. We will sing for the communion. So who is leading? Choir, please. Do you have this? Please come forward. Marvelous grace. As you are bowing down for the communion, I want you to begin to pray to God. I say, God, you want to partake in this. Clearly, if there's anything in you that the enemy can use, you'll be taking damnation to yourself. Please go to God. I say, God, have your way. Please. I want to be at peace with you, Lord. I want to be at peace with you. I want to be at peace with you. I want to be at peace with you in the name of Jesus.
forgiveness of sins. I want you to know that the original Last Supper that, we, what, that Jesus described here meant that there have been many supper that he has always had in his life. It is Last Supper. So it means there have been many supper. There have been many moments of fellowship. So you want to see this communion as an opportunity for a new covenant to exchange what used to be in the clean of rams of animals for the remission of sin. So what God was doing was to prepare us, was letting you know, was letting me know that, look, I'm going to offer myself. Number two, that I want you to know is that God wanted this to be a remembrance of his sacrifice. A remembrance of the opportunity that you and me have to ascend to him. A remembrance that, look, I have paid the price. A remembrance that, look, I am still in fellowship with you. And finally, he said, he will not partake of it until it comes. It's an assurance, a confirmation that yes, Jesus is still coming back. That we will still have the opportunity to do what? To have that fellowship with him. As we sing that last version, last verse, I want you to ponder on it. Are you grateful to him? Are you grateful for that privilege? That salvation is now available for every man, not just for the rich. Who can buy rams? Who can buy fowls? Who can buy different forms? But salvation for you and me. Yes.
of sin, for our sanctification, Lord, for a divine walk with you. Lord, we acknowledge our weaknesses that by the strength of man shall no man prevail. Yes, Lord. That we need thy strength to do this journey, especially to walk with you. We are asking, Lord, by partaking on this table, taking your blood and your flesh, we pray that this will, re will replace our carnal body, our carnal strength, but you will take you over and your strengths become our strength. And your righteousness become our righteousness. Mm -hmm. That Lord, this is a sign that we are not alone. And the journey is not by our strength. That we are, this is our suspicions to your strength. That you take us through the journey of this year in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. If anyone sick this morning, I pray by the reason of this Holy Communion, healing will come to every sick body in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, dear Lord, because I know you have answered, Lord. In Jesus' blessed and precious name, I pray. Sorry, because Pastor will be helping us with the keyboard. His body was broken. And his blood washed to the daily child. You wait together, so when you take in the bread and the wine, we will take it together. with you 
child of sorrow and of woe, if it joy and comfort give you, take it wherever you go. Take the name of Jesus with you, child of sorrow and of woe.